Hello guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that locate the centroid of the plate area which is shown in this figure. So since uh, uh, we can consider this as a composite area, so we have to divide this into segments or various shapes, right? So uh, we can divide this into three different shapes. Let's say that this uh, triangle is segment one or shape one and let's say that uh, this whole triangle uh, this whole rectangle let's say uh, this is three feet three by three feet square right so this second segment could be this square and the third segment can be considered as this negative area uh, this this rectangle this is let's say third segment so to find the centroid, uh, we need to develop uh, a table uh, which would have the segments, then the area of each segment, then x bar, uh, sorry x tilde, and then y tilde, then x tilde times the area, then y tilde times area. So since we know that if you want to find x bar of the centroid then x bar is always equal to the summation of x tilde times area divided by the summation of the area so what does this mean is that since we are considering three segments so then this will be equal to x tilde 1 times the area of segment 1 plus x tilde 2 multiplied by area 2 plus x tilde 3 and multiply by area 3 and then this will be the summation of area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. So for this we develop this uh, table and then we add up the um, x tilde times a for each segment and the y tilde times a for each segment and that gives us the x bar of the centroid and similarly if you want to find the y bar then y bar is equal to the summation of y tilde times area divided by the summation of area. Now we have to locate uh, the centroid of each of these uh, three segments, right? So let's say that this is, uh, this is our segment one. So the centroid of this triangle will be somewhere here and its location from the x axis will be uh, this distance from the x axis, this will be y tilde and this distance from the y axis is this will be x tilde this is x tilde or we can say that this is x tilde 1 and y tilde 1 for segment 1 and as we know that for triangle the distance of the centroid from the base is uh, this is equal to the height divided by 3 so the height of this triangle is 3 feet right so 3 divided by 3 is 1 so y tilde is 1 and similarly x tilde will be equal to this distance this height divided by 3 so again for this uh, x1 tilde the base is this so then this is the height and then this is 3 divided by 3 so this is 1 so now from this uh, we can say that the centroid of this triangle is at a distance of from this origin it is at a distance of 1 feet and then it is at a distance of 1 feet so this is 1 1 the location of this is 1 1 so we can write that segment 1 the area of the segment 1 since it's a triangle so its area will be 1 divided by 2 and base is 3 and height is 3 as well so this is 3 into 3 9 divided by 2 so this is 4.5 feet square so the area unit is feet square and similarly as we have determined that uh, this is x tilde so x tilde is 1 this is 1 feet and this is also 1 feet so this is 1 and y tilde is 1 as well. So x tilde times a, now this is 1 into 4.5, so this is 4.5 and again the y tilde times a, so this is 4.5 again and the unit of this will be in feet. This will be in feet as well and this will be feet, uh, feet into feet square, so this will be feet cube and similarly this will be feet cube as well. So now uh, for segment 2, let's say that for segment 2, now this is our segment 2, this square, so the area of this square is 3 into 3, so this is 9 feet square 
and its its centroid will be at its geometric center so uh, this let's say that this is the centroid of this segment 2 this is c2 so its location from the origin in from the y axis is this distance will be uh, half of 3 this is 2 plus 1 3 so this is 3 divided by 2 so this is 1.5 and similarly from the x axis this distance will be 1.5 as well so this will be x tilde for c2 this is this will be uh, the distance from the y axis is, is x tilde for 2 for segment 2 and this will be y tilde for segment 2. So we can write that x tilde for segment 2 is 1.5 and y tilde for segment 2 is 1.5 and 1.5 into 9 is uh, 9 multiplied by 1.5 this is 13.5 uh, so this is 13.5 and this is also 13.5. But remember that in this direction, this will be since this it's the or this is the origin, so this will be minus 1.5. Remember, so this means that x tilde 2 is minus. So this is minus. So this in 9 into 1 minus 1.5. So this will become negative as well. And this one is positive. Remember, now the segment 3. For segment 3, that is the negative area. We have to consider it. We have to subtract it. So that area is this is 1 feet so 1 by 2 is 2 feet square so 2 feet square and we have to subtract it this is the negative area this is not included so and x tilde will be the location of its centroid will be somewhere here at its geometric center this is segment 3 so now the uh, location of its centroid from the origin is this distance will be this distance is x tilde for segment 3 and this will be 2 plus half of 1 feet so from here to here this is 1 divided by 2 so this is 0.5 so 2 plus 0.5 so this will be 2.5 so x tilde for segment 3 is 2.5 and similarly this will be y tilde so y tilde y tilde will be 1 and the half of this this from here to here this will be 2 divided by 2 so that is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 feet so this is 2 and again as we can see that this x3 is in the negative x direction so that will be minus minus 2.5 so now minus 2.5 into minus 2 so that will become plus 5 and this is 2 into 2 is minus 4 so now we have to add up this area this is 4.5 into 9 uh, 4.5 plus 9 minus 2 this gives us 11.5 11.5 feet square this is the summation of area of each segment now the summation of uh, x tilde times a so we have to add up this 4.5 minus 13.5 plus 5 this gives us minus 4 this is minus 4 and the summation of y tilde times a so we have to add up this so this is 4.5 uh, plus 13.5 minus 4 this gives us 14 so this is plus 14 this is equal to plus 14 and now we know that from this equation we know that x bar is equal to the summation of x tilde times a and so the summation of x tilde times a is minus 4 divided by the total area so this is divided by 11.5 so minus minus 4 divided by 11.5 so this gives us minus 0 0.348 so x bar is minus 0 0.348 feet similarly y bar is equal to the summation of this that is plus 14 divided by total area which is 11.5 so y bar is equal to 14 divided by 11.5 so this gives me 1.217 1.217 feet so according to these coordinates we can locate the centroid of this whole area so that is located somewhere here this distance this is x bar and this is negative this is uh, minus 0 0.348 and this distance from the x-axis is 
this is y bar and this y bar is 1.217 so this is the location of the centroid of this uh, plate area so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet